اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب اشرح لی صدری و استر لی امری واہل الغدا تنب لسانی یفقہ قولی السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ میں سلمان رشید آپ کے ساتھ ہوں آج جو ہمارا ٹاپک ہے وہ ہے لائف سیفٹی روپ اس میں ہم ڈسکس کر رہے ہوں گے این ایف پی اسٹینڈرڈس روپس یوزیج روپ ٹائپس لائف سیفٹی روپ یوٹیلٹی روپ روپ مٹیریل روپ کنسٹرکشن روپ مینٹیننس انسپیکٹنگ روپ کیئرنگ آف روپ کلیننگ روپ مینٹیننگ روپ لاک اور روپ اسٹوریج NFPA relevant standards on life safety ropes. The first one is the NFPA 1670, standard on operations and training for technical search and rescue incidents. The second one is the NFPA 1858, standard on selection, care, and maintenance of life safety rope and equipment for emergency services. The third one is the NFPA 1983. Standard on Selection, Care, and Maintenance of Life Safety Rope and Equipment for Emergency Services. The consolidated standard is NFPA 2500. Standard for Operations and Training for Technical Search and Rescue Incidents and Life Safety Rope and Equipment for Emergency Services. Ropes Usage. The rope is one of the oldest and most common tools firefighters use. We can use rope in a variety of applications, including rescues, hoisting tools, securing unstable objects, cordoning off area, gaining access to areas above and below ground level. To use rope effectively, you must know the different types, what they are made from, and how they are constructed. You must also learn how to inspect, clean, store, and maintain them and keep accurate records regarding their use. Rope types. Fire service rope is divided into two general classifications. Life safety rope. Utility rope. Life safety rope supports rescuers and or victims during emergencies or training exercises. It must meet the requirements established in NFPA 1983, the life safety rope standard, and the emergency services equipment. NFPA 1983 specifies that only rope of block creel construction using continuous filament virgin fiber for load-bearing elements is suitable for life safety applications. Rope made of any other material or construction must not be used to support firefighters or victims. NFPA 1983 requires manufacturers to provide information regarding proper use, inspection and maintenance procedures, and criteria for retiring life safety rope from service. The standard requires that rope must meet the following criteria in order to be reused in life safety situations. 1. There are no abrasions or visible damage. 2. It has not been exposed to heat or direct flame. 3. It has not been subjected to any impact load. 4. It has not been exposed to the liquids, solids, gases, mists, or vapors of any chemical or other material that can deteriorate rope. 5. It has passed an inspection conducted by qualified personnel. A rope log must be kept for every life safety rope. The log must include the product label and manufacturer's instructions, as well as information regarding purchase date, use, maintenance, inspections, and any incident that results in impact loading. Impact loading must be noted because it cannot be detected by inspections, which should be scheduled according to the manufacturer's recommendations. If a life safety rope has been subjected to an impact load or fails inspection, it must be immediately destroyed. This means it must be altered so that it cannot be mistaken for a life safety rope and unintentionally used again for that purpose. One option is to discard the rope altogether. Another option is to remove the manufacturer's label, cut the rope into smaller lengths. and clearly mark it as utility rope life safety rope that has been converted to utility rope is referred to as downgraded utility rope utility rope is used in any situation that does not involve life safety there is no applicable standard for utility rope although inspection cleaning and maintenance should always follow the manufacturer's recommendations utility rope can hoist equipment secure unstable objects or cordon off an area Although the rope industry has standards addressing the proper ties, care, and use of utility rope, NFPA does not. Downgraded life safety rope may be used as utility rope if it is still in good condition. Inspect utility rope regularly to see if it is damaged. Rope materials. Fire service rope can be constructed from either synthetic or natural fibers. Synthetic fibers are used to construct both life safety and utility ropes. while natural fibers are only permitted for utility ropes the main difference between synthetic and natural fiber ropes is the material used for construction which affects the use and longevity of each type of rope 
Because natural fiber rope loses its strength when it gets wet and rots rapidly, synthetic rope is replacing it in use as utility rope. Synthetic fibers include polypropylene, polyester, nylon, polysteel, Kevlar, and Spectra. Synthetic fiber rope has excellent resistance to water, mildew, mold, rotting, shrinkage, and ultraviolet UV light effects. It also has the following advantages. It has a longer lifespan than natural fiber rope. It is very strong yet lightweight. It is easy to maintain. A disadvantage of synthetic fibers is that they will melt when exposed to heat. Natural fibers. Most natural fiber rope is made from plant fibers such as manila, sisal, and cotton. Natural fiber rope has the following advantages. It is resistant to sunlight. It does not melt when exposed to heat. It holds a knot firmly. However, it has the disadvantage of being prone to mildew and mold. It also deteriorates when exposed to chemicals and burns when in contact with embers or open flames. Rope construction. The most common types of rope construction are kernmantle, laid, braided, and braid on braid. Kernmantle construction is used for life safety rope, while all other types are used for utility ropes. Kernmantle rope. The rope that consists of a protective shield mantle over the load bearing core strands, kern. Dynamic rope. The rope is designed to stretch under load, reducing the impact shock after a fall. Static rope. The rope is designed not to stretch under load. Laid rope. The rope is constructed by twisting several groups of individual strands together. Braided rope. The rope is constructed by uniformly intertwining strands of rope together, similar to braiding hair. Braid on braid rope. The rope consists of a braided core enclosed in a braided herringbone pattern sheath. Rope maintenance. All ropes must be maintained appropriately to be ready for use when needed. It must be adequately inspected, cleaned, stored, and cared for, and a log must be kept that records its use and maintenance history. Skill Sheet 811 describes the procedures for inspecting, cleaning, and storing a rope. Inspecting rope. All types of rope should be inspected after each use, and an used rope should be inspected at least once a year. Inspections must be documented in the rope log. Ropes are inspected visually and by touch. Check for embedded shards of glass, metal shavings, wood splinters, or other foreign objects that can damage the fibers. If any of these are found, the rope should be taken out of service and destroyed. Caring for rope. Synthetic and natural fiber ropes can be easily damaged if not adequately maintained. 1. Avoid abrasion and unnecessary wear. 2. Avoid sharp angles and bends. 3. Protect ends from damage. 4. Avoid sustained loads. 5. Avoid rust. 6. Prevent contact with chemicals. 7. Reverse ends of the rope periodically. 8. Do not walk on rope. Cleaning rope. After use, visually inspect the rope to determine if it has been contaminated or soiled. If so, use a stiff bristle brush to remove loose surface debris and grime. If additional cleaning is needed, follow the manufacturer's instructions. Maintaining a rope log. When a life safety rope is purchased, it must be permanently identified. A rope log must be started throughout the rope's working life. Dates for all uses, maintenance, and inspections are entered into the log. This information helps determine when the rope should be removed from service. The log should be kept in a waterproof envelope and placed in a pocket that is usually sewn on the side of the rope storage bag. Rope logs are not required for utility ropes. Rope storage. Proper rope storage will help ensure that the rope maintains its condition and rated load strength and reaches its life expectancy. The rope should be in a clean, dry, unheated area with freely circulating air currents, whether stored in a fire department facility or on an apparatus. All rope must be protected from the weather, stored out of direct sunlight, and kept away from chemicals, fumes, and vapors. Ropes should not be stored in the same compartments as gasoline-powered tools or fuel containers. The best method for storing rope is to place it into a nylon or canvas storage bag. The bag makes the rope easy to transport and protects it from abrasion and contamination. The bag can be marked to indicate the type and size of rope and the unit to which it has been assigned. The rope log can also be attached to the bag. I hope this will enhance your knowledge. Please share it with your colleagues and friends and take care.